seems we've found something outside of Earl's Court. It looks pretty familiar. I don't know where I've seen it before. Is we went and saw the Tempest tonight, Anna, and at the Globe Theater. And then the biggest shock of our lives happened. We look up, and the character who's playing Ariel, the guy who's playing Ariel, we were like, huh, you know, that guy looks kind of familiar. And I remember thinking, you know, his cheekbones look familiar. Colin freaking Morgan from Merlin. This is my life right now, and now we're waiting outside a gate to hopefully meet him. I, we looked at each other, and we were just like, what are the freaking odds? I don't understand anything. Do you understand anything right now? No. I'm so... And he did a really freaking good job, too. So well done, Colin Morgan. Hopefully we'll get to meet him. If not, it's okay. He did a really good job, and it was just, you know, like a pleasure seeing him do Shakespeare. What is this life? What is this life? Yep. We saw him. He's up there. I can't really see him, but this is happening. I apologize about the quality. It is dark. There is no light. We are walking across the... Some one of the famous bridges around here. The, yeah, that thing. We just met Colin Morgan! <laughs> and he signed our programs. I'm sorry I didn't really get to film it. There was a lot of people who seemed to be... You know, not bugging him, like he didn't seem annoyed. He, I just mean, like, people just all over him. And I wasn't even allowed a picture. There's just so many people. It's fine. He's totally nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet guy. He was just like, oh, where are you from? America. Oh, cheers. Signed my program. Dreams do come true. And he is so Irish. Ha, ha, he's my little Irish man. Ha, 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 ha. We're soaring. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach if we're trying. So we're meeting Colin Morgan. Yeah! Uh, hello, I'm yawning. Hold on. Okay, so, turns out it's gonna be a very Merlin ish week because we are at Warwick and there's this Merlin. And we're gonna go today. Yeah. Where'd Laura go? Or are you gonna come with us? Are you oh yeah. I bet oh, Julie yeah. would go with us too. Oh yeah. I don't know anything about this place. Is it like Disneyland? I'm not entirely sure what this place is. I guess I will find out. So it's like Disneyland, but just the castle. And jousting. We found a bathroom. Blessed be. We found Merlin. Scared the flipping crap out of me. Oh, well, that was fun and weird. Look at below. Look at below. Sorry, my face in the way. Hold on. And now back down the stairs we go, into the abyss. There are so many stairs. As I have lost my group for about the 45th time this trip, I am now taking a very romantic stroll through the rose gardens by myself, whispering sweet nothings to myself. Cassidy, you look so beautiful under the roses. Why, thank you, Cassidy. Yes. Yes, I do. You don't look sick at all today. You don't look like you're about to die at all. This place is a little bit disconcerting, I'm not even gonna lie. Mostly it's just the kids here. I don't know if you can hear their screams in the background. It's just that they constantly bug you, right? It's just these little school children. I think they like can hit you with a wooden sword or something. They'll just like poke at you as you're walking along or whatever. And they're at that awkward age where they're old enough that they know what they're doing, that they are responsible for their actions, but too young for me to hit them. Like, if somebody my age whacks me with a wooden sword, I'm gonna turn around and smack him in the nose. 
A ten-year-old does it to me. Freaking, I can't, can't do nothing about it. Laws of society, I tell you. And I have been poked with a wooden sword more than thrice today. We found a giant oh, slug. I think it's cool looking. Oh, cool. Don't touch him. Leave him alone. What should we name him? Spencer. No, 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 no. Bye, Spencer. We are now nearing Shakespeare's gravesite. It's actually very beautiful here. I am filming in total respectfulness. I'm just, this is a very beautiful site in a very, very lovely town. So I don't mean to be disrespectful to the graves or anything. This just is just very, very beautiful. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're allowed to film. Good. And let it be known that I never, ever, ever film inside any chapels or churches where they do not allow it. Okay? Just so you know, if you ever see a chapel or anything in any of these videos, I promise. I am adamant to be respectful to all religions, all services, all churches. It's just me. So there is William Shakespeare's grave, which just makes me want to shed tears. And there is the grave of Anne, his wife. Just, that's incredible. And then there is the baptismal font that he was baptized in. That's pretty amazing. As well as the records of his baptism. That one had that, which. Where the arrow is, you can see it says Will Shakespeare. I think that's what it says. It's Will Shakespeare. Why does my finger look so dirty? Right, look at the X. So that is pretty, it's pretty cool. Beyond Shakespeare's grave, which is right here, we have Thomas Nash, John Hall, and uh, Susanna. Thomas Nash was uh, Elizabeth's husband. His granddaughter. Uh, uh, John Hall was uh, the son in law, and Susanna was the. Hold on. This is elder daughter. I don't know about her. She's the elder daughter of the poet and wife of John Hall. Okay, so eldest daughter. Shakespeare's oldest daughter. And the church itself is amazing. It's beautiful here. Take a look. And my favorite part. There. It's just amazing. See those ducks? Those are Shakespeare's ducks. Funniest oh, thing in the world. Oh, look at the babies. Do you oh, think look at though? the evil mother. It looks that beak doesn't look like it hurt. Oh yeah, you want to go test it out? Not okay. really. Well, well I thought about it, but no. Hello. Oh, baby swans though. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get near it. It is definitely not happy with anybody who walks by its babies. And, as a rule, bonus points. Oh, there it goes. As a rule, bonus points, swan and geese are not the nicest birds. Hey, somebody try to pet it. Natasha, go pet it. It wants to be your friend. Look at it. Look at it. It just wants to be your friend. Look at it. It's just like, come here. Yeah. <laughs> they are very cute. They are quite cute. Oh, that one's not my baby. That one's like the weird runt in the litter. Like, hi, mom. I'm back. Do you love me now? Yeah. She seems. That's a weird sentence. Mm, I will name them lunch and dinner. <laughs> they walk weird. Jessica? What are you doing? Jessica, this is literally the weirdest way to die. You don't want this. I need a good fit. Let me introduce to you one of the best parts about being in the UK. I have been waiting so long for these. So long. I don't I don't think you understand because these are not available in America, so Reminder that the Heroes of Olympus covers in the UK are hideous. And then we have these gorgeous books. Oh my gosh, I want all of them. My favorite is this one. I love it. I want to buy it right now. <laughs> Why? 
I don't have his monies. <laughs> Touching him. I just like to touch Do you him. want to put him to safety? Yeah. Let's bring him to safety. Put him on that little rock. Are you saving mm -hmm. another? Yes. Yeah. Bye, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs>